Hey gamers, let's grind this game here. Back with Stardew Valley. What do we got going on here? Spirits are annoyed. And we've got a new recipe here. Carp surprise. Mmm, sounds delicious. And we have a visitor. Leah brought us a gift. Oh, nice. A sculpture. Interesting. It's called How I Feel About Grind. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to end up uh, marrying Leah. Where should we put this thing? And what does it look like? Kind of looks like a like a knot. Or two tails intertwined or something like that. Looks like we got some mail here. George sent us some rocks. Oh, George. I guess we'll take it. Do a little bit of reorganization here. Looks like we got some battery packs from the storm the other day. I will be skipping ahead quite a bit. Uh, we're kind of just grinding through, grinding through the seasons, trying to get uh, our relationships with all the villagers up, trying to get us sell ourselves a girlfriend. So Leah's probably going to be the, the target. I think we have to get eight hearts with her, and then uh, give her some flowers. Let's say hello to all our little. All our little pets here. Our pigs are growing up. Making, digging up some truffles for us. And the auto grabber is such a nice piece of equipment. We love it. It does all the hard work for us. I need one in here as well, but saving up for that. Pretty expensive. Inventory is full, as usual. <laughs> My slime farm's coming along, but we gotta... I, I learned about a trick where you put down flooring on the inside so that they uh, put their slime deposits outside of the locked-in area. So we'll be trying that out eventually. And we're working our way through the bundles here. Trying to get the community center done. We need a poppy. I do have some poppies back at uh, back at our farm we can bring in. Got the rabbit's foot out of the way. Pomegranate's going to take a little bit longer. We've got a pomegranate tree growing in the greenhouse, but it's not quite ready yet. And we're trying to give everyone their favorite gift, or their near favorite gift. Leah's two more hearts before we can not propose, but uh, ask her to be our girlfriend, so we'll try to get that done. Got a little cutscene here with Gus. Gus is, uh... Gus is losing money because Pam's got such a large tab. We're gonna have to play like the uh, enforcer here and get our money back for Gus. Pam's like, give me a drink. We do have the skull shirt on, so like we're like the good uh, guy that goes out and breaks the legs. Maybe she'll have a change of heart here. <laughs> she was furious for a second. Pay the man. Pay the man, Pam. Our enforcement job is done. Everyone is happy again. Except for maybe Shane. But he's drinking right now, so maybe he's happy. Emily likes uh, likes those uh, gems, so we'll get her. We'll give her one of our cheapest 
cheapest gems. She also likes a special quest going on here where we need to give her a bunch of gems. But we'll go collect those up. And the greenhouse is coming along. We're trying to plant star fruit as well as uh, ancient fruit. I did put some stand in grapes there for a while. We'll tear those down once we get more ancient fruit seeds. I think eventually this room will just be all ancient fruit and maybe one coffee plant. So we can uh, get our caffeine fix every morning or whenever we need to jog into town. Gotta get a horse as well. Cause walking, uh, walking blows. Okay, I got one tree in there, just an apple tree. We're gonna have to put the pomegranate tree in. We got some fire eels kind of growing up here, expanding their population. Okay, let's get those gems turned in. Thousand gold for all that. Mmm, I don't know if that was profitable. Hopefully we got some hearts out of it. Skipping ahead here, we got uh, foraging level 9. Trying to get every skill up to level 10. We're in summer of year 2, and I think good, good old grandpa comes at the end of year 2, so... We'll want all our, all our skills at 10 before that. I have been reading a little bit more about the game just to get prepared without spoiling myself too much. A female slime has hatched. It's good. It's gonna be the luau tomorrow. Got some good luck. Okay, it's Maru's, Maru's birthday. Our cabbage has arrived, that's good. Put those vitamins in us. And it completes one of our other bundles here, so that's good. Got a seed maker. That's good. Still need apples. The apple tree's coming in. Pomegranate's gonna take a whole other season and a bit, I think. So we're probably looking at fall before we can finish that off. Linus is giving us some free food. Calamari. Calamari's pretty delicious. Especially when it arrives in the mail. It's like Uber. Who breeds? Okay, uh, wooden fences, not recommended. The slimes just, uh, just destroyed them. Or either that or they wore, or they wore out over time. So I guess we'll use iron fences instead. Keep these, keep these guys penned in. They don't seem to be, uh, coming after us though, which is nice. Oh, blue owl has started. I think this year we should we should pee in the stew and see if anyone notices. I think the game should allow that. Stand up on those stairs and kind of looks like a giant hot tub full of barf. So imagine cheese. Melt that in there. Hot summer day. See what uh, see what the mayor thinks of that. See what he thinks. Ooh, he likes it. 
Oh my gosh, he's like... He's non-stop eating it. Look at him, he's just going crazy. I think he's emptied his spoon by now, but... He looked pretty happy. And we got some uh, achievement out of that, I think because... We got uh, extra hearts with everyone. Marnie's come to visit us. What does she have for us? Well, she wants something. She wants to train her ghost to say hello. She wants a cave carrot. Swing by between 9 and 5. Okay. We'll try our best, Marnie. Wow, everyone's visiting today. Hey, Gus, what do you got for us? So he's got a stew on there. He likes to uh, bring his sauce with him. Uh oh. <laughs> it caught on fire. I don't know how. Spontaneous combustion in the, in the old stew. Mini jukebox, oh, okay. Ooh, look at that. We'll take it. Get some tunes going inside here. Oh, we get the recipe too. Nice. Fill our house with the music jukeboxes, and I wonder if you can play different tunes on all of them. That'd be interesting. I'll have to test that out. Try this out. Where should we put it? Maybe in the bedroom slash living room slash kitchen area. It's that in the art gallery. And we finally brought the cave carrot to Marnie. We just threw it on the ground. Not very sanitary. We could have at least handed it to her in a, in a bag or something. And let's buy some more animals now that we are got some more money going on. Some more chickens in there because our coop is not full yet. Wah, our little chicken wah. Looks like our hops has come in to get some of that brewing away in a keg. We'll probably save our kegs mainly for ancient fruit though, make an ancient fruit wine because that's like the uh, it's gonna be the cash crop. But it's nice to have a little bit of beer to go along with your wine. Our little tree garden down here is coming in. Got some nasty weather going on. We do have some ancient fruit growing outside as well. That's going to be mainly for seeds to fill up the uh, greenhouse. Like I said though, the main focus now is find a wife, get the community center done, try to make friends with everyone in town, and get our skills up to level 10. Probably going to take a couple episodes to do that, plus uh, some heavy editing. Looks like our grapes are in, and our starfruit looks like it's coming in pretty soon. 
Definitely have to go buy some more fruit trees, especially the pomegranate one. I had found a, a thing, a secret surprise here earlier. I thought maybe we'd get more, but, oh. I lied. That was the first time we checked. Just so you guys know, I'm uh, editing footage from several days ago. I've got about 30 hours of footage, so I'm 30 hours ahead of the game now. Of this this present present time, so I'll try not to spoil you. But yeah, I, I eventually go back to that spot and try to dig it up again, but I don't find any uh, any more dolls. Do some flirting with Leah here. What can we give her? She likes salad, but we'll give her some cheese because we have lots of excess cheese. Little cutscene here. Alex wants to uh, toss the football around. Seems like a good, nice summer day to do it on the beach. We got some sunblock on. We got our. Oh, we're not very good at football. Just like real life. Sorry, not football. Grid ball. Gotta get the term right. I'm trying to be generally nice with everyone. Instead of... Picking the snarky negative comments that the game offers up. I think next time I play the game through, I'll, I'll play like a total douchebag and I'll just be an asshole to everyone and see what happens more cheese for Leah <laughs> she's gonna be uh, farting up a storm I think into the uh, skull caverns to uh, get her ass kicked as usual Overwhelmed. I wasn't in there very long before I got... Got knocked out. We'll try to be more careful next time. Oh, Gunther's coming to visit. What's he got? The Golden Shovel Award. Oh. We got an old key. Uh, hmm. A little rusty. The rusty key. I think I know what that's going to be for. I think it's for the sewers. Juicy star fruit is in. This is when the cash starts to roll in, folks. Star fruit and ancient fruit wine. Oh yeah. We'll be a millionaire in no time. The greenhouse is pretty, uh, pretty game changing. And grow the stuff year round. And the nice thing about ancient fruit is once it comes in every seven days. So once you go past that first 28 days, it's uh, pretty much good sustained cash. I like that cash. Star fruit's really nice, even more valuable, but we have to plant it every, I think, 14 days, I think. In the future, I probably won't make seeds out of star fruit. I'll probably just buy the seeds. It's probably more economical.
We're gonna try to make a uh, a forest of these trees in the future. Because these ones give off a uh, hardwood around eight or so. And I learned that if you leave them, they'll just start dropping their own seeds naturally. And then we can fertilize those seeds and just kind of grow a whole forest of them. And then we'll have basically unlimited hardwood, which is a good thing. Because heading over to the little hidden forest and hitting stumps for two hardwood each time is a little bit tedious, so... Better to grow our own... Oh, our own... <laughs> there's a lot of slimes in there. Grow our own little hardwood forest. We are going to attempt to uh, get the slime and run here. Oh, oh, we may die. Get out of my way. Okay, that's not looking good. Let's get the slime and go. Never mind, we're out of here. Gotta, gotta make some iron gates to hold those guys in there. Dog. Our dog is hiding as usual. Okay, the wizard wanted, um, sorry, Sebastian wanted a super cucumber, so we're gonna fish one out. Kent also wants a star fruit. Demetrius wants a puffer fish. Get that going. Uh, first time I read Sebastian wanting a super cucumber, I went to the wizard by mistake. So, I, can't let, I left that, I edited that portion out, but we wasted one on the wizard. Uh, he's, he liked it, but it wasn't part of the quest. It's locked. Here's Sebastian chilling by the, the river. Don't know what he's going to do with that cucumber. We won't ask. And Kent here wanted the star fruit, so... Actually, he wanted it for Jody. Okay, we're finally going to put our iron fence in here. Hopefully we can do it without dying. It's a slightly risky operation here. Now hopefully this iron won't get degraded like the wood did. I think it should stand up a little bit better. You actually get 10 iron fences for one iron bar, which is a pretty good deal. Considering it's stronger. I kind of want to collect them all, so we got to get some, some bronze uh, slimes in here. Okay. Take a breather before we finish that off. I think we need more fence. And we're back with more fence. Okay, here we go. We're almost done. We're almost done. Uh, we'll finish that later on. As we give much love to all our critters. Those are uh, human sized, human head sized truffles. Can't imagine eating a head sized truffle. Got some kind of secret there. The Juminos. Junimos, I mean. They will reclaim territory, okay. They like gemstones. We are back in the hidden forest. The nice thing about the hidden forest is we sometimes get uh, seeds in here. Yeah, mahogany seeds. That's what we need to build our mahogany forest so we can stop grinding, grinding the uh, hidden forest. And we're using tree fertilizer on these uh, mahogany seeds. Because otherwise they, they just don't tend to grow very fast or at all. 
kind of keep them close to home so they're easy to keep an eye on. But eventually I think I'll relocate them down into our forested area down south. Looks like Leah needs a hand here. frightened her. Shall we give her the forbidden fruit? <laughs> Whoa. I'm not quite sure how that happened. She jumped backwards on top of our head. Pretty skilled. Ooh, we're stronger than we look. We're sharing the forbidden fruit. Catch her on the way down. Giving cheese to everyone. I think pretty much everyone likes cheese except for the kids and the doctor. Oh, we're buying our bouquet. Is it time? Do we have enough hearts yet? I think we might. I think it's happening. She's blushing. <laughs> and then some random dialogue. Okay. Let's see, let's see what's happened here. So now she's our girlfriend. But uh, we still need to get, I think, two more hearts with Leah before we can propose. But we're down on the sewer here. Krobus. I think this is the first time we're seeing him. He's a interesting looking fellow. Who worships Yoba. He sells some cheap uh, solar essences. Which is good, if we ever need those. A void egg. Which I'm going to guess it makes a void chicken. We'll save our money though, I think, for now. Tempting. Tempting. I think we're saving up though. Star drop. We'll maybe get that in the future. Return scepter. Two. Is that two million? Oh my gosh, expensive. Someday we'll be, uh, we'll be that rich. And it looks like we can wipe our skills here if we need to. What's this here? Some kind of force field blocking our path. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll have to go back in the future and see if we can get into that force fielded area. Continuing on here, putting some more star fruit in. Trying to get some uh, some more hearts here with Leah. What are we up to here? Leah, we're at eight hearts. We need two more. And then I think we can, uh, I think we can propose. We might have to get her a wedding ring or something though. Blueberries are in. We got some iridium ore from uh, the super cucumber. I think that's random. It's pretty cool though. Oops, we passed out. Got so busy tending to the farm that we couldn't crawl to bed. As you do. Ancient fruit wine, bringing in some decent coins. Starfruit wine, 25,000 gold. Yeah, 
truffle oil is also like super valuable. 1,491 gold per truffle oil. Maybe we'll build a giant pig farm someday. Yeah, we passed out. We know. It's not good. Working too hard. Just like in real life. Working too hard. More salads for Leah. <laughs> okay, what are we at now? This is like a daily ritual now. Uh, we're at nine. Okay, one more heart to go. Got a little cutscene here. Evelyn's got something in the oven. Cookies. Hmm. We'll take it. We'll always eat cookies. Free cookies. like chewing a hockey puck. <laughs> we learned how to make cookies. Yum. Gonna give George his favorite uh, leek. Try to cheer him up a bit. And Evelyn, I think, likes daffodils, so we'll give her one of those. And I think we'll probably wrap things up there. Summer's almost over. Soon heading into fall. And then all we have left is fall and winter, and that'll be the end of year two. And I think we get our grandpa evaluation. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.